Hello everyone. In this new video I want to show you a so some possible solutions about why you don't want to give the screen to the computer. When I turn it on, this is quite normal. Since that happens, let's say because suddenly you connected wrong. The car is in bad condition or some internal component is not working. Well, in this case, I already fixed it. Well, so I'm going to show you some possible solutions. First of all, ha. Huh? Let's go with some parts, let's say the basics. If any reason you have a graphics card, I do not recommend connecting directly to the over, but on the graphics card port. Well, it doesn't have it in that one, but if you have it, it will not connect. If you have a graphics card then connected there. Given that, when you connect it, that option is disabled. Another review. BGA or HDMI cable. That is in good condition and preferably. A connect it backwards. Well, if some reason doesn't work for you, let's go. We will also check the PC screen. That this is simply the bread of the monitor I say. Obviously we turn it on. Well, this one is working without any problem. A something else now let's proceed. Well if any reason then no. None of these options worked for them. The other option is Disarm the computer And we will check piece by piece. It was just a review. If any reason then you have to What to disconnect and connect spare parts There we will proceed. If any reason you don't know how to disarm a computer like these That is, one of these PCS you just have to unscrew these two. They can do it behind a knife or with a screwdriver. Of what reach? We pull this out. And how can we see how? Come on. There, we can see all the components of this computer. First, we must rehearse. We must verify if the RAM memory is connected. If you for some reason well, is, if you need to remove the RAM simply, I we pull those chopsticks that you see there at the bottom out. Sorry inside. And as we can see the me this is the RAM memory. We clean it and everything. And that's it. We simply put it back to the state it is. If for some reason it doesn't fit, put it in the opposite state. Because sometimes it happens. Ah. Uh, of. They're according to what I see. Everything already fit. So they reconnect. Turn it on and then from there yes. Minus one and if it turns them on then already. Just put it back together. In case the same thing happens again eh? This is the power cord. I recommend you turn it off. And reconnect it. To see if it is suddenly misconnected. And that's it. Well, the last thing is to suddenly check the connection. Of the SATA of the hard disk. Well that is easy simply. Disconnect reconnect. And that it is well adjusted. If any reason how. Well, none of these options work for you anymore. So it would be better to take it to a technician. Because suddenly. It may already be a fault. Of the monitor itself. Or it could be. Let's say. A board failure. Or even perhaps the port of. Where does the whole computer connect? Or computer computer A is in bad condition. 
or that it is already starting to fail. And well, to verify this it is quite easy. A. I was able to solve this solution. It was quite short because I had disarmed a computer. But then it turns out that number, which is giving me the same problem, but then I didn't want to work, I didn't want to work until I realized that it was the RAM memory that that I had not connected it well. We just proceed to turn on the computer. We wait for it to start. And there as you can see, it is working normally. In my case it was because of the RAM memory. Well, for what I, I gave myself to screw it up, disarm it and everything. I have not connected the mouse. And normal works. I know that I did not explain it well there, but well nevertheless. Well, here I show you what you have to do, A. Eh? In case this happens to you. Well, if it served you, then give it a like, a dislike, subscribe. Unsubscribe and see you next time.